Can we be in a psychedelic world? Can we Jungle. be in a... I just took a guess. <laughs> oh, we like to start every day with aloha. Hello. We like to start every video with aloha. We care for the animals, care for the people that we're watching the video, care for each other. We care. You care? We care a lot. <laughs> don't look. You look there. You don't look in the screen. You ding ding. Yeah, yeah, ding ding. So what are we doing here today, boys? We are going to check out some cool animals. First, the froggy. I was in here messing with the. The Freedom Breeder Cocoa Block Shaker. I was making a little video, taking some pictures, checking it out. And I, I got this little studio, photo studio, got all the stuff back up here to, you know, make a nice background. And the interesting thing is I, I think that maybe, just maybe, I've never tried to do any green screen stuff, but I'm just curious if we can do it with a black screen. And maybe we can make the background look all like, what if we got like, can we put something on our hand like a, uh, I don't know, anything. Oh no, it's blocking my hand and I can't do it. What if we put a little thing on top of his head? What if we just go into some kind of psychedelic world real quick? Can we do that? Can we be in the in the jungle? Can we be in a psychedelic world? Can we jungle. be in a ocean? I, I don't even know if it's working right now. Is there an ocean behind us, guys? Jungle, jungle, Is there jungle. a shark swimming behind Noah's head? I can't, I can't tell. I see a tall, tall tree. You see a tall, tall tree? Yeah. What else do you see? I see a hopping frog. I see a shark. And I see a swimming fish in the tropical waters. Oh, I messed up the top of my little thing. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys my little process of how I do a voiceover for the commercials or the whatever they are for the Freedom Breeder videos on the website. And you get to see that little process maybe a little bit. But first, what do we say we're going to see? A frog? Where's the frog, guys? I don't know. Oh, I see him. Whoa, he's growing. <laughs> I think we decided we're going to name him Jerry. No. No, no, no not Jerry? No, Cherry. Cherry? No. <laughs> no, Ribby. What? No, Ribby. Ribby? Yeah. I think we're going to name him Jerry. No, Froggy. No. Larry. Larry? I think I want to name him Jerry. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Do you like Jerry? Can you guess why we named him Jerry? I like Jerry. Can you guess why I'm wearing a hood? How about gold eyes? Yeah, no yellow back. Oh, where is he? He's looking at Where's me. all the water? I do not want a corn snake. Why don't, you, why don't you want a corn snake? They're my enemies. This kid. This kid. Every time he holds a corn snake, he gets bit by it. He's the only person in the family that gets bit by a corn snake. Every single time he holds well, it. Why never? He got bit last night by a corn snake. He's been bit by the corn snake every time he holds it. Nobody else. Leia, my little baby girl, held this corn snake, and yet Noah gets bit by it. Not Leia. Leia's holding it like a champion. Noah's like a freak of nature that gets <laughs> bit by corn snakes. No, it's just... <laughs> ah. What do you want to look at next, boys? Grown-up snake. Well, one of these up on the... No, no, no. Wait. I want to look at the tarantula. So this is Curly, our curly-haired tarantula. The boys are a little freaked out by him. I mean, I, I guess I am a little bit too. I'm, I'm really freaked out. I, okay, I, yeah, Curly, that's a good name. What can you guys tell me about a tarantula? That has that suits but hairs and it has fangs. It's arachnid. It's got hairs. It's got eight legs and it has and it usually has eight eyes. What do you guys want to do next? Hissing cockroaches. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh. So Noah, you, you knew that guy was a male. <laughs> he's hissing. No, he's hissing. So oh. how did you know that guy was a male? He just looks like one, and I just took a guess. Oh, all right. 
And it looked like he had horns. Ah, it's the horns. I don't want him on me. What? You're the one that wanted to hold the cockroach. No, I didn't. Yes, you I did. I want to know it too. Oh. Okay, try and hold him calmly, Noah. See if you can do that. Maybe if you learn how to hold an animal calmly, you won't get bit like you do with the corn snakes. They don't have biting snakes. The corn snakes just try, probably try and bite me for fun. Now try yeah. and just keep yourself still. You're doing a pretty good job. No, no, no. Oh, see, see how I've got him calmly? Yeah. Look how I'm doing it. How yeah. come you can't do that? I don't have as big hands as you. Hmm, that's Daddy, a pretty good argument. Daddy, could the male cockroaches fly? Uh, no, not these ones. But do they have wings? Uh, they don't look like they have wings to me, bud. I think they do. Okay, I, I don't, don't see any wings. You have to be calm to keep them calm. Okay, no, you're fired for now. <laughs> no, you're fired, Daddy. One more time. Seriously. Look at this, Noah. I'm just holding him, and he's being calm. I think it has something to do with your wild boy energy. Look or at how just... calm he is. He's just sitting here. How is he not poking you? He's just hanging out with his little beneficial mites. I think we figured it out. Noah's just kind of an intense energy guy, and uh, you just got to be a little more calm. Don't let him hit. Cockroaches freak me out. Yeah, me too. What do you know? I know. Spitting cobras. Spitting cobras? What about spitting cobras? That they're cobras, and cobras are snakes, and they're venomous. They can spit venom, and is my favorite type of snake. And all cobras have hoods that go out. And the spitting cobra, the red, the only ones I know is a spitting cobra and a red spitting cobra. Common spitting cobra, red spitting cobra. And, spitting cobra? Red spitting cobra. and they have, I'm pretty sure they have fangs also. And they can spit from more than six feet away. And, and the, when the spit, when the venomous spit hits an enemy in the face, it blinds them. And they have, and spitting cobras have very good eyesight. And that's what I know. Hey, Eli. What? What? Do you know? I know. Scorpions. What about scorpions? That they sing stuff and they pinch. They have, how many eggs do they have? You tell me. You tell me. I'll give you a hint. What? They're arachnids. And all arachnids have eight legs? Yep. Tip. So, and the scorpion has eight legs and it pinches and has a mouth and that's all I know. <laughs> this is not all you know about scorpions. I thought you guys wanted to check out a snake before we go up. A yard of snakes. Yeah, no, one snake. Ty. Alright, so we got Ty, our and leopard make spider make. female, and Make Make. Wait. G-H-I Mojave Pinstripe Het Clown female. Can I pet Make Make? Yeah. They're both girls. So Ty here actually produced a clutch for us this past season. Leopard Spider Girl and Make Make hopefully is going to produce some amazing clowns for us coming up here in the near future. And yeah, well, I mean, not too near future. She's kind of a little bit small still, but 
She's gonna get there. She's gonna get there just like Ty. Huh. Boys went upstairs. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek into how I record the little voiceover things that I do, which is simple. I just, I read off something and I do the voiceover. I'll actually put a link right here. I'm curious to know what you guys want to see next. I'm either going to do a Christmas video next or I'll do a video sharing how it is that I came to be working with Freedom Breed in the first place, or I'll do both. So, yeah. so click on this little card right here yeah. and let me know what you see uh, as far as like your options. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to talk. Hold on, okay. Can you, can you? <laughs> Okay, you leave it right there. Okay, Daddy's gonna read his thing. Can you can you be quiet for real quick while I read this? Yeah? Okay, you ready? Let's see if we can do this. With tea in hand. Boys! Can you guys stop walking up there for a minute? Welcome to Freedom Breeder. The smaller product is collected below in one of our signature FB90 tubs. Hold on, T. The smaller product is collected below in one of our signature FB90 tubs. You can use this finer product to substrate while utilizing the chunkier product for your larger species. Yeah. <laughs> Coconut substrate into $100 worth of product. Now, please watch our other instructional videos to see how Freedom Breeder can help you provide the best for your animals. Look. <laughs> Look. And that's how it's done, folks. Welcome to Freedom Breeder. We would like to introduce you to our newest product, the Coco Blocks Shaker. Made from the same stainless steel as our industry-leading rack systems, the Coco Blocks Shaker doubles as a rolling workstation. The stainless steel lid makes it the perfect backdrop for taking pictures of your animals, but its main purpose lies beneath the lid. This stainless steel grate is designed to help you sift out the chunkiest of the coconut chip from your Coco Blocks. Just add a little moisture to your Coco Blocks and allow it to expand for a few minutes. Then break your brick down in the bin. The smaller product is collected below in one of our signature FB90 tubs. You can use this finer product to substrate for just about anything while utilizing the chunkier product for your larger species. Now, with the ability to turn your $20 brick of coconut substrate into $100 worth of product in your own facility, the Coco Blocks Shaker pays for itself after just a few uses and will last you a lifetime. Thank you for watching. Please watch our other instructional videos to see how Freedom Breeder can help you provide the best for your animals.